Hello, people of God, we thank God for yet another day. God has successfully brought us to the end of June. Oh my goodness, what an honor, what a privilege to have an opportunity to live and to be able to enjoy all the blessings, all the grace, all the anointing, all the provision, all the protection. And the fulfillment of God's plans and purposes in our lives. Oh, he says, I know the plans that I have for you. Even as I said, the month of June was my June. Because June is my birthday, the 17th of June. Oh my goodness, thank you Jesus. What an honor, what a privilege to worship you. What a privilege to know you. For those that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. New every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness, the steadfast Lord, the steadfast Lord of the Lord never see. Is it the steadfast love of the Lord? The steadfast love of the Lord. Never ceases. His mercies never will come to an end. They are new every morning. New every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness they are new they are new every morning new every morning great is thy faithfulness O Lord great is thy faithfulness Thank you, O God, for causing us to be children of obedience. Yes, obedience is of utmost importance. We want a total obedience. We want prompt obedience. We want swift obedience. You as our, you, we as your children, as your church, as your people, that you have called by name, that you have prepared in advance good works for us to accomplish, O God. Total obedience. Swift obedience, prompt obedience. It just dawned on me how God usually works. He doesn't work by man's understanding. He said his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our As high as the, uh, the heavens above the earth, so are his ways above us. Embedded in the, in the things that are glorious, it's, it sometimes presents itself as not so glamorous, as not so glorious. We see the issue of... Um, Ruth and Naomi. Ruth, the faithful one, decided to follow Naomi to the to the lands of lands, where he didn't, where she, you know, she she didn't know anything that was gonna happen, but all she knew, she held on to faithfulness. She she held on to her values, the values in God. She knew there was something in God that he had to follow, and you know, if she wasn't going to let anything deter her, no circumstances, nothing, that she stuck by Naomi. Naomi, that didn't have any hope. By worldly standard, there was nothing, you know, glamorous to follow Naomi for. But Ruth knew that it, it always goes beyond. Look at David. David has been sent to, you know, present food to his brothers. How would you know that someone that is, you know, a servant, <laughs> a, a, a serving food can be a warrior? But yes, embedded you know, in the not so glorious is the glorious thing that God wants to do. With Saul, Saul went looking for the father's um, donkey, and yet he met 
he was called then, you know, discovered then to become the king. Yes, God embeds the most glorious thing in the nitty gritty of our daily, you know, not so glamorous things. People, you know, when we, we are called to do, you know, the not so glorious, we have to be standing, you know, at the pulpit to be preaching for us to you know that we are doing the work of God. No. You know, God would use the simple things, the simple routine, mundane things in our lives to prepare us, to get us to where God wants us to be. Approach, that's what the Bible says. We should, in everything that we do, do it as if you are doing it unto God, not as unto men. I believe jo, jo, um, David joyfully took that food, you know, to his brothers. It was a simple task, you know. There was no, um, nothing so glamorous about it. <laughs> you know, we serve food every day. Everybody does it, you know. You know. But David, I believe, did it joyfully. In the same light, I believe Naomi did the same. And even so, that's later on was, you know, um, was, you know, uh, frowned on by God because he disobeyed the instructions of God. You know, sometimes all we say is God strengthen us. Strengthen us to be children of obedience. Not just obedience, but total obedience. Because half obedience is still disobedience. Half obedience is still disobedience. Help us to be able to follow your word. He said, only the doer of the word of God is blessed, not the hearer. We can hear it all we hear. You know, only the doer of the word is blessed. May you grant us wisdom, illumination, revelation of your word. Uh, the psalmist said, teach me the wonderful things in your word. There are hidden things in the word of God that we need to unravel, to be able to fulfill it in our life and go cause God to 